Welcome friends, James Corbett here, CorbettReport.com, with your thought for the day, January 31st, 2017. And if you read my article last week on cashless biometrics and India's demonetization experiment, and or listened to my podcast episode 313 on demonetization and you, where we connect the, do- the dots between demonetization, cashless payments, and biometrics in the creation of the perfect Panopticon control grid... Then the latest developments along that course will not surprise you in the least, namely last week's uh, development with the Indian government now uh, officially mulling link linking their national biometric ID program, which so far has enrolled 1.1 billion people, i.e. fingerprints and iris scans. Uh, Two income tax returns. Surprise, surprise, yes, the National Biometric ID is now going to be tied directly to your tax returns. And just to complete the circle, the Indian government is now uh, launching its Adhar Pay Service, that is a biometrics-backed payment system that will be connected to a user's unique ID number, or Adhar. So you will soon be scanning fingerprints and or eyeballs to pay for things and of course it will be voluntary at first and eventually once cash has been thoroughly demonized and eventually outlawed everyone will be doing this and as I think I demonstrated quite convincingly in episode 313 of course India is just the canary in the coal mine for this process which is evolving in different in different time frames but still evolving all around the world simultaneously And we've talked before about the cashless society and the implementation of the cash on war all around the globe, but how about the biometric ID system? Well, you might have heard just last week some exciting news from Australia, facial recognition and fingerprints to replace passports at Australian airports under a new self-processing system. That's right, the Department of Immigration and Border Protection is now trying to uh, uh, roll out a system for passportless entry and exit to and from the country as early as later this year that will use fingerprints, iris, iris, or facial structure recognition at major air and sea ports. Wow, a world leader in something, right, Australia? And um, as people may or probably did not see in the latest executive order about terrorist, quote-unquote, entry into the United States. Oh, really? Are you going to outlaw the uh, CIA and FBI and John McCain and all of those terrorists? No, no, of course not. Well, uh, buried deep, 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 deep down in that executive order, where few people probably read it, uh, the Secretary of Homeland Security shall expedite the completion and implementation of a biometric entry-exit tracking system for all travelers to the United States. Surprise, surprise, says no one who was paying attention and noticed that Trump's Homeland Security team team is uh, shaping up to be completely staffed by and with and for biometrics uh, company you know, lobbyists and or employees. Uh, good article on that on those sources uh, here in the show notes. So um, very par for the course and unfortunately this is just a taste of a smattering of these types of biometric ID programs that are going into place all around the world simultaneously in a coordinated agenda. But Don't take my word for it, let's document it. Just as we documented the war on cash last year, almost exactly one year ago, we had this open source investigation on a country by country guide to all of the war on cash elements that were going on at that time in all sorts of countries, really dozens of countries around the globe. Well, we're going to be doing the exact same thing for the biometric ID grid. So I've just posted up a new article, the biometric ID grid, uh, a country by country guide um, that is going to do exactly that. And I've started it off here. I've kicked it off with Australia, Canada, Greece, India, Iraq, Israel, Japan, Ukraine, UK, UK, and US, just to get things rolling with uh, dozens of links, of course, for people to check out the various biometric IDs and passports and national registers that have been kicked off in all of those countries. But I am, as always, just one man and cannot do this all myself. So I'm imploring the Corbett Report community to help out in this cause. If you know of biometric ID programs in your country or in a country of interest that you happen to know about and have links for, please do include them. This is going to be a uh, open source investigation for the entire community to take part in. So Corporate Report members, please do log in and leave your links and information in the comment section and they will be added. This article will be updated as people provide their links. So I do appreciate all of that. We're going to construct the definitive country by country guide so we can see that just like with the war on cash going on simultaneously in every part of the globe, so is the biometric ID being rolled out simultaneously in every part of the globe. And those two systems are going to come together exactly as they are in India so that everyone will be scanning their fingerprints and eyeballs in order to buy things. 
It's getting serious, folks. And, well, the first part is to document it, and the second part is to understand it, and the third part is to not take part in it. But we'll get there when we get there. First of all, please do log in and leave your uh, your comments and your, your links for this new country-by-country -country guide. I'm looking forward to your participation. Thank you, as always. James Corbett, CorbettReport.com.